How surprised are you guys that Terrence Knighton signed a one-year deal for $4 million and with the Washington Redskins of all teams. Very surprised. I mean, I first of all, he, he made it clear that he was going to be on the West Coast uh, when I spoke to him. He's, he's got a, uh, a girlfriend uh, out in Los Angeles. He loves it in this well, part of the country. when you're as big as he is, you can be on both coasts at the same time. Oh, man. You know her? You know her. You know her. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I was surprised. Uh, you know, a lot of people were talking about how he was tweeting maybe too much, maybe saying too much uh, during free agency. Oh, these teams, I'm done with these teams. He didn't say their names, but I think he was referring to the Raiders. So it was very fascinating to see how Terrence Knighton handled free agency, and now he's got a one-year deal on a bad team. My thought is that the Broncos must have not really not wanted him at all. Yeah, that's if impressive. he's that signing a make-good contract yeah. with Washington, and I don't ever use that other name, and I'm going to talk you into never using that other name. Uh, I'm going to get you, get that out of your system. But if he, if it's not a guaranteed. It's four million dollars <laughs> for one year. You can't tell me that the Broncos couldn't have offered two million for two years, right. guaranteed. Same kind of deal. That's or, interesting. Or two years, first one guaranteed. Three million for the second year. Get rid of him next year. They didn't want him back at all. And I'd said to you, he came into camp last year out of shape. Right. And there are people. And that was the last year of his contract. There are people reporting that as he approaches 30 years old, there are concerns about his conditioning, and that's right. why there were very few teams, if any, out there who were willing to offer him a multi-year deal.